Okay, hello everybody. This is a guide for the newly released uh, Escapist's Hole, sorry, Escapist Course on Golf with Your Friends. It's been released on the 6th of July 2020 on Xbox One. I assume it's also been released on the PlayStation 4 and if this is on the Switch, on the Nintendo Switch as well. So for the first hole, uh, I'd say you want to go okay probably about one and three quarter bars there you go hole in one okay so for hole number two you want to go a little more than two and a half bars I'd say maybe about two and two thirds of a bar and you want to aim at this specific location um, if it helps you line up look at where the small orange arrow is um, going up the slope on the other side of this bounce. So when you do you want to press, uh, when you've got that about right you want to press A, do the jump, and there you go. That would be a hole in one. Um, if you get the jump early what you'll also do is you will go off the backboard and it will still go in the hole from that angle so that will still be a hole in one. Okay, for hole number three, you're going to want to go full power. You want to aim, just look ahead of where the, um, look ahead of where the arrow is pointing. You'll notice that there is uh, a pale, uh, a more paler square of grass just ahead of the arrow on the column where the, uh, the column of squares where the arrow ends. Now, what you want to do, if you're looking at that pale bit of grass, you want to aim at the top right corner of the square and go full power. And there's your hole in one. Okay, so for hole number four, this is a hole in one. We're going to uh, bounce off the back wall which looks kind of like a minecraft wall um, we want this exact position we're going to be going at full power so make sure your cursor is in the exact same position by cursor I mean arrow and uh, if, if it helps to guide it's a couple of not a couple of tiny little movements to the left of the the corner of the four squares directly in front of the arrow so if you look at the cross between of the four squares directly in front of the arrow um, it's a couple of tiny little movements to the left of the dead center of that so full power off the wall bounce off the table off the little back bumper and there's your hole in one Okay, so it is possible to get a hole in one on hole number five. However, it's very, very difficult. Now, I need you to pay attention and listen very, very carefully to what I'm going to say. Look at the exit sign just in front of where the arrow is. If you notice, the bottom left corner of what would be the exit man has, uh, it's basically a five pixel shape. If you look at the second pixel from the left on the bottom row, you'll see it's like a faded green. Look, you want to be aiming at the bottom right corner of that square and then move a tiny, tiny notch to the right. So it's maybe just like one tiny little movement. Now, you want to go this exact power. power. It's a, I'll let you work out, it's probably maybe a tiny tiny smidge over three and a quarter bars and it's a hole in one it's very very tough but that is a hole in one okay this is hole six I think uh, par four now I've spent about 50 shots seeing if there's any way to get a, a hole in one I don't think there is so we're gonna go for a safe eagle instead uh, you want to if you look at the second open oven door you want to aim at the bottom left corner of the glass of it and you want to do about one bar and about 40 to 45 percent of the second bar 
We'll put you over here for a safe shot. Then we can aim at the hole with a safe one and a bit, I'd say. There we go. So that would be an easy eagle. Okay, this one is a bit temperamental. Hole seven, we're gonna go half power, and as soon as we get into the water, we're gonna want to do a big jump, and hopefully, um, it'll go into the hole. It can be a bit temperamental because of the power of the water. However, you can see exactly what uh, angle I'm going at. You can see um, I'm going fully two bars. Either way, a lot of the time, it'll go in the hole, a lot of the time it'll go next to it. Whichever way you choose, it's either going to be a hole in one or a very, very easy birdie. Okay, hole number uh, eight, I think. Yes, hole number eight, it's tricky and it's horrible. So, you want to aim at this, this little marker on the opposite wall. Um, it's the second square from the left. We're just going to do a simple one bar. Perfect. Okay, for the second shot, now this is either going to give us an eagle or it's going to set us up perfectly for a birdie. So, you want to aim in this exact direction. And you want to be going about two bars and I'd say about 60%. Um, of the uh, third bar. When you're in this, about this angle, you want to be aiming at the, like, the bottom right corner ish of the inside paneling of the bottom crate that we're staring at. So, kind of where that, kind of just under the corner of the diagonal. Okay, so it should end up something like this. And that would be an eagle, or, or if you do miss, it will come very, very close for an easy birdie. Okay, for this one, you're going to have to use your ears because you can't see what we're aiming at. So we're going to go, we're just going to be aiming at full power, but we're going to be aiming just to the right of the center of this tilting block. Now you're going to want to, the moment you hear the sound effect of the flame thing, just that thing, just to the right, you're going to want to let go. So the moment the flame thing starts, now if you're lucky, you'll get it in the hole, um, but it's very unlikely that you will. However, uh, you'll guarantee yourself an easy eagle. Okay, hole 10 is near impossible to guide for, simply because there's just so much twisting and turning. So it, this, I'm just gonna do a playthrough and it's just going to be common sense. So we're gonna do a little bump and aim into that little valley. It's gonna take us down. Pulse. I said, you, you, you just gonna have to be lucky here, sadly. We got through. You have to hope for the best for that one because it's because of the ground is just so malicious. Hole eleven. I want you to lower the camera and aim at this exact position, and we're going to go full power. We're just going to go for a birdie on this hole, but you might get an eagle if you're lucky. One and a half. One and one and sixty percent. Oh, never mind. So anyway, that'll be a guaranteed birdie. Okay, hole 12. We are going to be aiming just off to the left of the default. We're going to be using the water to jump, hopefully, over both barriers. It's a difficult shot, but it is very, very possible. We're going to be going for three and three-quarter bars when the copper's out of the way. So shoot it. Wait for it to hit the water, jump over. And if you're lucky, you can get a hole in one. If not, it guarantees you an eagle. So uh, there's your eagle. Okay, hole 13 is a horrible hole. 
we're going to be doing about one and three quarter bars. We're going to be aiming right at that little cross um, just in front of the arrow and we're going to let it go. So that is shot one. Okay, you may be in a different position from, from me in this. It depends where that fan puts you, but ideally there is a there is a dip near the hole, so we can theoretically get an eagle if we do a good shot. Either way, it will guarantee you a birdie. So we're going to do about the same power again, actually. Um, we're going to aim about in that direction because we want it to jump a little bit. And there we go. Okay, I got unlucky. But uh, it's a guaranteed birdie. Okay, for this hole, we're going to be aiming in this specific direction. We're going to go on a couple of bounces, and then we're going to be doing about two and a quarter bars, give or take. And it's going to be in this exact direction, so we're going to have two bounces off the walls in front of us. It's going to put us into an easy shot for a birdie. Lines us up perfectly here, like this. And then all we have to do is aim at the hole you can barely see the thing but we are going to be going I'd say that's probably about one and a half I'd say there you go birdie okay this is uh, hole 15 and sadly uh, I'm going to show you the problem with this hole is that all of these corners have curved corners on it and these these ones here are the worst ones so we're going to play safe on this one. We're just going to go for a par, par or a birdie if we can. So we're going to go two bars, and we're just going to aim at this chair here. Again, it's just playing safe this time. Okay, so now we're around there. We're going to go, I'd say, do, 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 about that, and we'll go three bars. Boink, 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 boink. Ah, we got unlucky. No matter. There we go. And it's a par. Because of the starting shot, it's just... It's impossible to say where you're going to go. So you just need to play safe on that hole. Okay, hole 16 is bloody stupid. So we're going to go... Just to aim a little bit left of the flag, we're going to go two bars and we're going to hope for a good bounce on the water. There we go. And we're just going to get an easy, easy eagle. Okay, so for hole 17, we're going to go for a birdie or par. Um, so we're going to go about just a smidge over two bars. Can aim at this rock and it should jump us up to the up to the next platform we're going to aim to the uh, left of the rock and I'd say we're gonna go just two and a th two and a quarter I'd say perfect and then when we get up to the top I'd say one and a half in for a birdie and if you do miss, it's a par. Okay, so you want to be aiming in this exact position. You want to be going about three bars and... Uh, I don't know what you call that, 80% or so. And you want to have it end up like this. Okay, so for our second shot, we're going to do a very, very simple one and a half bar shot, just to be safe. There we go, perfect. For our third shot, you might get an albatross if you're lucky, but we're going to be going just up, up, to up, uh, and I'm recommending about two and three quarter bars. And that would be your albatross. I hope this guide has helped you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.